cada uno de ustedes. Bernardo Arabalo, Guatemala's surprise second place finisher in a recent vote for the presidency, says the government is behind attempts to push him out of the race and questioning the results. Today, this corrupt political class is facing a reality, and that is that my party is on the ballot. It resulted second at a three-point gap from the other person, has a chance of winning, and it means that they are going to lose total control of the system. Arevalo had been a long-shot contender in last week's first-round vote for the top job. Now, the country's top court has called for a ballot review. He finished behind former First Lady Sandra Torres and ahead of Manuel Conde, the candidate for the ruling party, Vamos, both of whom say there were irregularities. In a Tuesday interview with Reuters, Arevalo said he believes the review is an attempt by the government to have Conde replace him on the August runoff ballot. He also fears the government could attempt to delay the electoral process until January 14th, a deadline by which Congress can appoint a new president if one has not yet been elected. To avoid that outcome, he has called for restraint. There must be a calm response from everyone's side because part of the scenarios that they must be mulling is trying to create popular explosions that justify a state of emergency or suspending of guarantees, which are the perfect condition for these types of schemes. Founded in 2017, Aravalo's Semilla party has strong links to Guatemala's anti-corruption movement and is set to take 23 seats in Congress if the preliminary first-round results stand. If elected, Aravalo has said he would bring back judges, prosecutors, and journalists who fled the country after the government shut down a UN-backed anti-graft body in 2019. In response to a request for comment, Vamo sent Reuters a previous statement in which it said it rejects the accusation that it aimed to influence the vote, quote, categorically and energetically. A spokesperson also described Arevalo's allegation that the government was attempting to put Conde on the August ballot as, quote, conjecture. However, the ballot review has drawn international criticism, including from the U.S. and E.U., who said there were no signs of problems with the first-round results. The Washington-based Organization of American States said its election observers would return to monitor the ballot review.